You know, in a city like Edmonton, we have the fastest growing urban Aboriginal population in the country. And it's a demographic that is very, very different. So we're thinking about um, the colonial population, frankly, which is an aging population with a lot of baby boomers. And there's a lot of public policy conversation about what are we going to do about the aging population. When in Aboriginal communities, 50% um, of them are under 25, and it's the fastest growing population in the country. And we're not talking about how do we make sure those people are successful. And if those people aren't successful, we get a couple generations of setback, again, with the Indigenous community, which is not what we need. We need to be going in the other direction. And I was just, I, I had occasion to have dinner with John Ralston Saul and Adrian Clarkson at a military event. They were here for the PPCLI 100th. And John Ralston Saul was telling me it's the one piece of unfinished business in this country is, is um, greater success and inclusion for Aboriginal people while <coughs> respecting their distinct, um, their distinct status. And he, he put it a really neat way. He said, these kids are going to be successful with or without our help. We can decide whether we want to be part of the solution or whether we want to continue to stand in their way. So that requires active citizenship on all of our parts. It requires adaptability and resilience. It's going to impact social determinants of health, which is going to lead to greater productivity. So everyone should be able to buy into this kind of work.